in fuck up shit situation like I can't imagine what she's going through but I also don't have any um, remorse or sympathy when it comes to people drink driving I think it's the most reprehensible thing ever especially in the era in the, in the, in the times that we're living, living in now with the prevalence of like Ubers and stuff there is no excuse for drinking and driving I don't care what it is especially f because for whatever reason um, the person that's drinking and driving always is the person that never have, suffers any kind of fatality it's always the person they hit in an accident that has to suffer some sort of injury or maybe they die which I fucking hate it fucking tears me apart when I see those stories of somebody decided to drink driver after a night out and crashing into a family and then the whole entire family passes away but the drink driver just goes away from me unfazed i fucking hate that shit but anyway this is a story courtesy of tmz regarding danny lay it says that she'd been arrested for a dui and hit and run alleged victim had fractured spine Danny Lay, um, the baby mother of the baby and an R&B singer herself in her own regard, um, you know, embroiled in COVID controversy for a while before the pandemic and all that nonsense with the baby, had been getting back to some semblance of going out and being about and putting out songs again and now has been hit with this. Fucking hell. It continues. It says, Danny Lay has spent an Demoroy Day weekend in jail after cops say that she hit somebody with her car while driving under the influence a singer who's also the baby's ex mother baby ex and mother of his kids was arrested early tuesday morning in miami beach where police claim she was involved in a dui hit and run which ended in serious back injury for the alleged victim who is riding a moped i do like the fact because again i read online which is if it's true i don't live there but i've heard that florida has some really really tight rules or strict rules and laws when it comes to drink driving which i like because you'd imagine florida being a place where a lot of people drink and do drugs so there's probably a prevalence of people and a high likelihood of people being involved in duis and hit and runs so i do like that they recognize that their state is where is the way it is but they also have laws in place where if you break it and you do that sort of thing you can be punished really aggressively and if i'm not mistaken she's already these are felonies so this is some serious shit that's going to be on a record she's probably going to spend some time behind bars too like fucking hell it says, according to the police report obtained by TMZ, Danny was seen by several witnesses, several witnesses driving at a high rate of speed and swerving in and out of lanes near Miami Beach. Eventually, Coppit says um, she struck somebody who was on a motorized scooter and dragged the moped <laughs> for about a block. Somebody flagged down a neighbor, <laughs> neighboring officer who then initiated a stop. Imagine just minding your business on a fucking electric scooter, checking your phone where you want to go, check like i would do sometimes checking your phone to see on the maps what fucking late night eateries open is pizza hut open is popeyes open is mcdonald's open just checking where you're going to go eat or checking where you're going to go, where you can get some booze late night and then randomly some fucking r&b singer in her g-wagon just plows into you <laughs> without you realizing and drags you a fucking block <laughs> can you imagine drags your fucking you're minding your business you probably got your slides on some shorts a rinky dink vest like i've got just like chilling minding your business and just hits you with a fucking shiny black gold green g-wagon <laughs> <laughs> in the paperwork the cop described danny as smelling of alcohol and he conducted a field sobriety test which says she failed and she later then took a breathalyzer is there something in american law and um, you guys tell me in the chat where if you do a, if you're under the influence but then you run away is there like something you can prevent yourself from being breathalyzed is that true tell me there's i think there's, there's some loophole right like if you're if if you if if you're drinking under the influence, so driving under the influence, and you get stopped, or no, or you're in a crash and you run away and you come back, is that true? What's yeah? Jesus said it's hit and run. Yes, you can flee the scene. You can flee the scene, and that technically means what the DUI is not. So then they can't breathalyze you because they have no idea whether or not you drank at home or at the at the scene, right? So you're just saying yeah. If you hit and run and make it home and get inside before the cops stop you, then yeah, you're golden. <sighs> That is, thank you, Uche, but that is some scummy shit, isn't it? That is some scummy, deplorable shit. You hit somebody, unintentionally fair, but then you drive off, don't check on them, go home, <laughs> drink some water, 
spray yourself with some mouthwash or whatever in the hopes that you're going to get off of it so you don't get had to breathalyze it and then leave the person on the street bloodied internal organs all over the place spleen spinal cracked that's some disgusting shit man but yeah thanks for the loophole info there thanks to Uche the officer claims she blew 0.15 and 148 nearly twice the legal limit Danny is cuffed and taken to jail where she was booked in for three felony charges free driving under the influence and leaving the scene of a crash serious bloody injury DUI damaged property as for the person who was hit, cops claim that she treated a hospital where she were told the doctors that she's going to make, that she suffered a severe kidney laceration. That's a cut in the kidney and a spinal fracture. Yo, a spinal fracture is no joke because I know what it, I know how much it hurts when you're doing deadlifts and you don't kind of wear a belt or you don't, you know, uh, you don't brace yourself properly and you pull a muscle next to your spine like you know in the, that kind of spinal area you pull a muscle there you strain your muscle i know how much that hurts so i can only imagine how much it must hurt to fracture your fucking spine like that that is going to be especially on a fucking scooter like god almighty what's martin musa in here remember john joe's running from the scene after hitting the pregnant lady he ran and got lesser charge oh yeah true 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 you're right 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 thanks martin musa you're definitely right so ucho's right also you have to you, you just have to get home first but she couldn't get home because she didn't know that she had the fucking scooter and the person underneath her g-wagon <laughs> so it's a bit too obvious there but yeah um this is really bad news for her personally because I, I would assume because you're looking at some sort of civil suit obviously the criminal proceedings um the damage it'll do to your reputation it also kind of puts some validity to what the baby was saying about her um you know she's clearly somebody that can't handle her booze the driving home drunk thing as a mother new mum is fucking insane i know mums need time to unwind and shit but doing that in that way is irresponsible if you're gonna go out and get trash and you leave the baby with the flipping grandmother or whatnot then at least you could do is organize a car especially in this era i think there's no reason to be driving under the influence but fucking hell man what an incredible story and yeah it's probably not gonna end well for her in this case because this is looking kind of serious unless they figure something out i don't really see it ending